far around the world and welcome. Uh, I'm Derek Warfield of Wolf Tones fame and I'm joined as usual for the 33rd time, the 33rd show on, thanks to Mr. Zoom on the internet. Uh, this is number 33. And uh, we're delighted to be afforded the opportunity to sing and perform and play for you over the next couple of hours. Uh, you know, we could have never foreseen that we'd be doing this for 33 weeks, but that's the case. And uh, thanks to the technology that we can still keep in contact with our many friends and uh, fans and, and uh, supporters around the world that um, love our music and song. And uh, I know that I thought it'd be nice to start with, with a nice American ballad this uh, week uh, that was written by the great uh, Stephen Foster. Uh, Stephen Foster, you know, wrote some wonderful ballads, some wonderful songs, and of course, is uh, all his family were Irish. Uh, they uh, came from uh, his father. His family was from the north of Ireland, from County Derry, and uh, all the community in Western Pennsylvania where he grew up were in, in, uh, all uh, Irish uh, from both north and south. It's uh, always very interesting to, to note that uh, Pittsburgh and the surrounding communities. It was settled largely by people from Ireland. Uh, but this song is one of Stephen Foster's uh, finest ballads, and um, uh, I think it'll be a nice one to start with. So um, I'll hand you over to do, you, Damaris, and I'm sure you have many requests there. Um, I'm just get, I'm just getting set up here, Derek, so bear yeah, with well, me. Bear maybe, with maybe we'll start. We welcome, indeed, all our listeners and our viewers around the world. And just to tell you all that we miss live performances, we try to keep in contact uh, and um, with all our friends and fans. And also, I want to thank all the folks who have uh, downloaded our music and who have uh, bought our CDs or face masks or T-shirts or hats. And uh, thanks, and they make great stock and stuffers. So if you haven't got them... <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, they're on the way. I know a few people uh, got in contact with us to say they ordered them uh, a, a couple of weeks ago and they haven't gotten them yet. But believe me, the post uh, is an overload. Uh, and it's an overload everywhere because people are sending a lot of things uh, through the post. So it's no different in any country. It's uh, just take a little longer for the parcels to arrive. Uh, so I think there was a... There was over three million parcels alone the other day. With, to you, uh, to you, Andres, to you. I wish, I wish. <laughs> so yeah, uh, bear with us, folks. That the post is getting there. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but... On that note, here we go. <laughs> Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears While we all sup sorrow with the poor There's a song that will linger forever in our ears Oh, hard times come again no more Tis the song, the sigh of the wind Come again no more Many days you have lingered Around my cabin door Oh, hard times come again no more While we seek mirth and beauty And music light and gay There are frail forms fainting at the door Though their voices are silent their pleading looks will say Oh, hard times come again no more Tis the song, the sigh of the weary Hard times, hard times come again no more Many days you have lingered Around my cabin door Oh, hard times come again no more there's a pale drooping maiden who toils her life away With a worn heart whose better days are old Though her voice would be merry to sighing all the day Oh, hard times come again no more 
is the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times, come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times, come again no more. Tis the sigh that is wafted. Across the troubled wave Tis the whale that is stirred upon the shore Tis a dirge that is murmured Around the lowly grave All oh, hard times come again no more Tis the song, the sigh of the weary Hard times, hard times come again no more Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all sup sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of Yeah, the sound, oh. seems to be, the sound seems to be gone there, is it? Mm, it is, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're here. <laughs> Does Damaris know? I don't think Damaris knows. Yeah, the sound is gone, Damaris. No, she can't hear you. Again, no more. Mm. Great song, yeah. a little blip there in the middle, little blip. Yeah, that happens. Great song, though. Well done, Derek. Yeah. Yeah, well, I love Stephen Foster's songs, and, uh, you know, he was very much in tune with his times, and he left us a great mirror image of of the times that he lived through. And uh, the community in, in Western Pennsylvania was very, very Irish. I've, I've read a, a great deal about uh, the community there and uh, l looking at their appreciation for the music and traditions, uh, they were determined to uh, keep the freedom and liberty that they found in Western Pennsylvania, uh, but they were always fearful uh, that it would be attacked uh, because um, the uh, English still controlled parts of Canada. Uh, but they preserved indeed the most extraordinary parts of Irish tradition. And uh, many of them, of course, um, would have been uh, people from Scotland and they, they also, they also settled in a, in a very cohesive way, uh, and created, if you like, a new frontier community. Uh, so, and that's one of the great songs of Stephen Foster. And uh, I, mean, uh, I thought we'd like to share one of his songs with you, "A Hard Times," and it's probably appropriate for a lot of people that have lived through the last um, nine months. So. I'll hand it over to you, Damaris. I'm sure you've yes, got a question. Yes, uh, Colbert, Colbert <clears throat> Armani is watching in from Sur Syracuse. News Rules is watching in again. No, Cormac's daddy is watching in. How are um, you, Dad? How are you, Noel? Yes. Um, happy Friday from Mars, Ozzy. Kay Willen says, blip, but brilliant. Thanks very much. Yes. Um, Anthony from Windsor. Good on you, lads. Uh, PJ Delaney, happy Friday, Derek and friends. And Thomas, or oh, Mossy Power is watching in. Come on, Mossy. Mossy. Come just, on, for, Waterford. just for reminders of Vegas and Waterford, yeah? Come on, Waterford. Yeah. We, wish, we wish Waterford the very best. They're playing, of course, in the final. Everybody's hoping that Waterford will uh, lift the McCarthy Cup and be the big man with the b uh, small ball. That's yes. And of course, Limerick too. Which in Limerick, all the best as well. Can't forget Limerick. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. yeah. But uh, I, I've a soft spot for water, but I, uh, but I, I can't. Uh, I love Limerick too. But uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you have a soft, small spot for a small ball. Yeah. yeah. Roshi uh, McCarran uh, uh, is watching uh, uh. in from County Fermanagh. Um, Pat O'Halloran is looking for the streets, New York, or the drunken sailor. Oh, good. Very good. Bernard okay. Ferry is watching in. 
How are you, Bernard? Bernard? How are you, Bernard? Catherine Tone is watching in from snowy Colorado. You can keep your snow, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kathy and Clint are watching in from Phoenix, Arizona. So next mm -hmm. song, Hi, guys. Oh, I think it was Kathy's. Was it Kathy's birthday during the week? It was. Happy birthday, yeah, Kathy. Happy birthday, Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. Happy birthday, we're, Kathy. Norm we're normally actually in Vegas for her birthday. That's right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, we yeah, all sure miss. celebrating. Yeah, we all miss Vegas yeah. this year. Yes, um, well, yeah. coming up, coming up next, we're going to have a, a, a wonderful ballad from uh, from Karma, and uh, this song is uh, it's a, a song called Arbor Hill. Arbor Hill is uh, the place where um, you know. When I give you a little bit of history background, uh, any Irish people, or in fact any American uh, people, when they won their independence, if they fought against uh, English rule, they were not treated as as um, as soldiers, they were treated as uh, common criminals. And um, the sad thing was that when they were killed, they were put into unmarked graves. And um, it was this disdain for those who wanted to free both America and Ireland from English rule that led to such a, a, a great a hatred for um, the Redcoats. And uh, this song is about Arbor Hill. Uh, where all of the men from 1798 uh, who had been inspired by the success of George Washington and they were all dumped into unmarked graves in Arbor Hill and this song remembers them. And the same thing happened in 1960 and the men indeed were all uh, given uh, the horrible death and burial of being thrown into uh, uh, an unmarked grave without any Christian ceremony. So here's the song. It's sung by yourself, Cormac, and um, uh, I know you like this song. The first girl that I heard sing this song was Maeve Mulvaney, God rest her. She, she used to be a wonderful ballad singer, uh, and she was a, an extraordinarily popular uh, figure on the stage back in Ireland, back in the 1960s. Uh, and of course, she, she went to America and she made a great name for herself there in Worcester, Massachusetts. But I may have sung this song all her life, Arbor Hill. And you're going to sing it for us now, Carmen. So, the, um, Yeah, enjoy, enjoy, folks. It's a great song. It's a lovely, simple song, but uh, I, I love singing it. It gets to the point in it. It's a lovely song, so enjoy, folks. Six counties still subjected 
and they're held by England's spell. So wake up and show devotion to our men and our dead. So wake up and show devotion to our men. Lovely. Well done, Carmel Boy. Fair play. Yeah, well done, everybody. Great job. Great job. Yeah, lovely stuff. Thank you. Well done. Hmm. Very good. Well, uh, that's... Uh, yeah. Tony yes. and Bernie are watching in there. Um, PJ Delaney is looking for the streets of the New York from Port Leash. Um, Michael is watching in from Indianapolis, Indiana. He misses us at the Golden Ace Inn. We miss Aww. being there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Lovely. And I think um, you're up next uh, with a great song, uh, Andreas. Um, Tommy Macon's wonderful ballad he wrote for Green Fields. Oh, and uh, this has always been a great uh, song and favourite of, uh, of ballad lovers around the world. And I probably think... Uh, I know Tommy wrote many songs, but that, this has to be one of his finest. And I think he wrote a lot of um, words in it uh, that uh, he he lived through. Being from County Armagh, of course, he was uh, indeed affected badly by the partition of Ireland back in 1920. And we commemorate and we commemorate the the sad partition of our country after s s thousands of years. Uh, something that the Irish people had no uh, say over. And of course, Tommy let the world know that uh, through the way Irish balladeers expressed themselves, he used Ireland as a woman, a woman with four great green fields. And those four fields were the provinces of Ireland. And um, I often said to him when I met him that it was, I thought it was his best ballad. And um, I love to hear him sing it because he, he told the stories before it, and he always had something interesting to say about the songs. Um, Tommy was a true balladeer and a great, uh, a great entertainer. And of course, he did enormous work to give a value on Irish song and tradition around the world with the Clancy Brothers. Uh, and Andreas, no more than yourself, uh, I know that you love uh, performing. I often thought that uh, there was a the, in the people that came from Cavan, Monaghan uh, and Armagh, there was a special love of uh, music in their, in, their in their background, in their heritage. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I know your mam and, uh, and I have talked about this, but it, 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 it meant so, it, it, it means so much to communities um, to have the, the song in celebration, the songs of remembrance, the songs of commemorative. Um, it's just a wonderful tradition and sometimes we take it for granted. Yeah, absolutely. No, without a doubt. Um, yeah, I agree. To, I, I'm all flustered all of a sudden. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Gary. <laughs> okay. I, I was at the dentist today and I have two numb gums, so I can hardly... Oh yeah, you I, gotta, <laughs> well, I, I know the the dentist again can be a, a that's a real show. Uh, Nobody likes going to the dentist. I understand that. No, well, um, yeah. Well, the, we no, let you. No, we let I you. Ah, yeah, pardon. We let we, we let you go. The Maris, oh, no, don't uh, let me go. Oh, Jesus, don't yeah. let me go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't mean. Uh, Michelle is walking in there from New York. She says, up Luton. I have to agree with that one now. Oh, Not yeah. that I'm biased or anything. Yeah, great Chris spot. Chris O'Hagan is in watching him from Dallas, Texas. And Mandy Kemp said she loves the Four Green Fields. Uh, Sue and Bob are watching mm. him from Port St. Lucie in Florida. Um, and John McKenna has just tuned in. He says, I'm late, but I'm here. So um, here, here we go. Lovely. Enjoy. Oh uh -huh. 
Oh, there you go. Lovely. Well done, Andreas. Lighting stuff. Well done, Andreas. Well done. And actually, well done. If, you don't, if you don't mind, I'm going to dedicate that song to uh, Pat Herbert and Eileen down in Florida. Pat lost his brother here in Sligo during the week. So um, I'd, li- I'd like, I think we all would like to send our condolences um, uh, absolutely. to Pat uh, and Eileen and all the family in Sligo. So uh, we'll dedicate that to him. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and a yeah, wonderful yeah. ballad to, to dedicate to because um, uh, thanks uh, indeed and to all the, his family, our uh, condolences. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> now, Damaris, what have you got there for us? Okay. Um, we've coming up next, we have our, our new single record. Uh, um, and uh, it's um, uh, back in 1964. Uh, we recorded this song, The Wolf Tones. It was our very first recording. And your first recording, of course, is special. Um, and it was, it was um, a great leap forward for a band because it put us on the road to recording uh, for the last 55 years. And uh, it was an old Dublin song that we chose to start our recording careers with a, a called The Spanish Lady. And... Uh, Maybe you'd like to add something uh, to it. Anyone out there? Yeah. Um, Mary Hackett said um, her children have been singing Spanish Lady all week, nonstop. So that's great to <laughs> hear. Lovely. That's 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 what. It's always nice when you hear that. It's always nice when you hear that you cheer people up. It's always good. So that's 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 yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mary is watching in there from Detroit. She she, right. she must be. And Terry Durkin is watching in. She heard she can still see Tommy Makem singing that song on stage. And wow. um so that's that's a nice memory to have. Absolutely. Kevin Sheehy's looking for the helicopter. Um Pat O'Halloran's looking for Sullivan John. Um John McKenna says 1964. He wasn't even a twinkle in his mother's eye yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's we hope you remember <coughs> to 2020. Uh, and uh, you'll be looking back in 40 or 50 years' time, and it doesn't seem like that long ago. Sometimes you're looking back in 1964. <laughs> yeah, I bet, yeah. Yeah. But uh, the, the song itself <coughs> is an old Dublin song, and it was a Dublin song, an old Dublin street ballad that was uh, there back in the 18th century. It's that old, uh, and, uh, of course... Um, it, it, it's always been sung. There are many different verses and words to it, uh, but um, it shows you that Dublin was a very cosmopolitan city back in the uh, night, eight, in the eighteenth century, and there were there were all sorts of people here. So we haven't changed much. Um, so here's some, um, and of course it mentions the great patriot Napper Tandy, and uh, Napper Tandy was a great Irishman that uh, wanted the independence of Ireland. Unfortunately, he was. Um, he was sentenced to be hanged by the English, and um, but he escaped. And uh, oh. he, he's a uh, God love him. He was he's buried now in um, in France, uh, <clears throat> and uh, in Bordeaux. That's where he is. He was given the, the uh, he was made a son of liberty by um, Napoleon, and so, and uh, of course Napoleon was in America too. He was in Joe Biden's town in Wilmington. Uh, he went oh, there. Wow. He, he spent five years, Napper Tandy did, in uh, Wilmington. So he's mentioned in this song because he was such a, he was such a uh, charismatic uh, person of, during his lifetime that everybody knew him. He was a, he was a, a wine and brandy importer into Ireland. Hence his name, oh. Napper Tandy. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Napper. <laughs> And hence why he's buried in Bordeaux. <laughs> he's buried. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I mean... It's a reward. There's a bar in Bordeaux called Napper Tandy's, actually. Oh, very good. We yeah, need to go there. We need to go there. We need to go there. We have to go there. We do a gig. And, of course, he's mentioning another song, uh, The Wedding of the Green. Oh, I met with Napper Tandy and he took me by the hand. You know that song, don't you? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. So, yeah. Napper is still alive 200 years, 250 years <laughs> after he was born. Wow. <laughs> well, I think, I think we need to go to Bordeaux. 
<laughs> I'll taste. I'll taste the wine. You taste the beer. <laughs> right. That, that, won't. that doesn't really sound. Um, that doesn't sound kind of fair, Andreas. Well, but if you want some wine, have some. Wine. I don't care. <laughs> okay, that sounds more fair now. And just in case, I'm just, I'm I'm just as, as my aunt, as my aunt in New York says, never assume. I was assuming. <laughs> you were indeed. <laughs> <laughs> And anybody watching out there from Bordeaux, give us an invitation <laughs> to go over yeah, there and play. Yeah, or just right? send loads of wine. <laughs> <laughs> loads of wine. <laughs> Can't beat a bottle of Bordeaux. <laughs> yes. That's it. We'll, we'll all pay our respects to Napoleon Handy's grave. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, all righty. Here we go. And we have the mighty Kieran Cooney is going to join us uh, straight after this song is finished. So we're looking forward oh, to having a chat room. Yeah. Very good. Absolutely. Yes. Indeed. All righty. As I rode out to Dublin City at the hour of twelve of the night We should have seen what the Spanish lady washing her feet by candlelight First she washed them, then she dried them over the fire of amber coals In all my life I ne'er did see a maid so sweet about the souls Back for the tour of Laurel Addy, back for the tour of Laurel Lay he stopped to look, but the watchman saw me and he said, Young fella, the night is late. Along with your arm, or I'll wrestle you straight way through the Bridewell Gate. A blue a kiss to the Spanish lady, hot as the fire of amber coals. In all my life, I ne'er did see a maid so sweet about the souls. Back for the tour of Lurel Laddie, back for the tour of Lurel Lay. Back for the tour of Lurel Laddie, back for the tour of Lurel Lay. Squaddy with her ivory comb and her mantle fine She may go away for the Provost Marshal Drunk on brandy or claret wine I got a look from the Spanish lady Hot as a fire of amber coals And all my life I ne'er did see A maid so sweet about the souls Back for the tour of Laurel Laddie Back for the tour of Laurel Lay Back for the tour of Laurel Laddie Back for the tour of Laurel Lay as I went down to Dublin City as the hour of dawn was o'er We should have seen but the Spanish lady I was weary and foot sore First she coaxed me, then she chide me And she laughed at my sad plight And all my life I ne'er did see A maid so sweet as on that night Back for the tour of Laurel Laddie Back for the tour of Laurel Lay Back for the tour of Laurel Laddie Back for the tour of Laurel Lay Butter and Patrick's close Up and around me the cluster diamond And home by Napper Tandy's house Old age has laid her hand on me Cold as a fire of a she-coal But where is the lovely Spanish lady Neat and sweet about the soul Wait for the tour of Laurel Addy Wait for the tour of Laurel Lay Wait for the tour of Yep. Yay. How are you, Bias? Oh, you know. <laughs> Who's that with uh, you? <laughs> the Spanish uh, lady. Yeah, How are you, Kieran? 
Yes, welcome to Kieran Cooney, the the baby balladeer of Ireland. Yes, sir. the baby is back. The baby is back, Derek. Thank you, Kieran. Yes, uh, I, how are I to, you? I have to tell our folks uh, this is Kieran. Kieran was with the band for uh, uh, a couple of years, and um, he uh, he was. Um, it was that young that we had to christen the baby. So the baby Cooney is with us. He's a special guest uh, this evening on the show. And we're delighted to have him. And we're glad to see you looking so well now, Kieran. You look like you're only, you're getting younger looking. Please polish a diamond though, Derek, you know yourself. And I'm, I'm just glad, I'm glad you had a shave, Kieran. That's what I'm glad from the last time I, I saw you. I, I actually, <laughs> yeah, I got, a haircut. I got a haircut today. And uh, I said to your man, no, just take a little bit off the top, you know, and then he just basically gave me like a, a two all over or something. So, uh, we'll manage it somehow. Yeah, well, uh, look after okay, you. That's what happened. That's what happened to me, Kieran. That's what happened to me. <laughs> I asked him, and he took too much off the top. So he did. Hey, did you ever hear, my love, did you ever hear <laughs> that song, Pass the Pint to Rescue? That was written yes, about yeah. your hairline, I'd say, somehow or another. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going off in that karmic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with him, kids. <laughs> well, you look great. You look great. <laughs> well, uh, you're, you're, all, you're all talking about the fashion hair. The only man that can uh, speak now and that has fashionable hair is Andreas. He's uh, nicely, um, uh, nicely groomed. He's nicely groomed there tonight. Oh, sure. no, look, it's great to have it, to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Well, um, Kieran, uh, we're, we're, we're delighted to have you. And of course, uh, I've always said that this young man, Kieran Cooney, is a highly talented uh, a singer and uh, a musician. And it was a pleasure to have him with him, us around the, around the world and around uh, America. And it was, um, I hope, a happy experience for you too, Kieran. But uh, I want you to, you know, your memories of uh, being with the Young Wolf Tones. Do you have anything that stands out? I, ha I have plenty of things to stand out for. Uh, <laughs> oh, be say, good, be good. Uh, yeah, be good. Keep it clean, 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 Maybe you, you should have started that question with that piece. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, for, for me, um, like I, I was living in Florida for around two years, working down in Raglan Road in Disney World. And... Uh, I, once I left there and came back home, I was gigging in America and back in Ireland and stuff. And, but when I was in America, I'd only really obviously been in Florida. That was where I was based. We were gigging there six nights a week. So I, even though I'd been living there, I hadn't seen much of it at all. Far in New York, I, I traveled to New York fairly regularly because I knew a lot of people up there. But then obviously joining the Young Men's Tones, that changed that completely. And I ended up seeing parts of America that, I didn't really, I didn't even really know existed. Um, and, you know, I'm dri driving through, driving through towns and villages and like, you know, it, it was absolutely mental, you know, but I, I don't, I wouldn't have seen half of what I've seen had it not for been in the band, you know. Yeah, well, that's good that you, uh, yeah, you went to, we, we go to very strange places and of course, um, I've always believed from my earliest days performing that if your music is wanted in these places, you should go and play. It might be inconvenient sometimes to get there, and I'm sure you didn't relish the fact you were 11 or 12 hours in the in van. <laughs> that was a new no, experience. He, he, loved he loved it. He loved it. He loved every minute. Part. <laughs> I did. I did, of course. Like, I mean, there's, there were times when, uh, you know, where, you know, you've been on the road, say, like, obviously, February, March, for yourselves in particular, and most bands that are on the circuit in America, it's kind of their, their peak touring time. And, like, you know, the first three weeks or two weeks, everyone is buzzing and everything, you know, is amazing. And then, you know, every tour you hit a lull at some stage for everyone where it just gets a bit tough. And, yeah. You know, you're, you're, everyone is sleep deprived. And, you know, obviously you're, you're, the only time you're eating is when you're getting petrol, you know, and <laughs> you're at the mercy of what food is available at, at the, at the stop. But that's, you know, at the time when you're in the thick of it, it's, you know, it can be, you know, you can it can be seen as difficult. But then when you take a step back, you, you kind of appreciate it and you kind of, it, it, it kind of molds you into the person you are then and you kind of realise that when you have it, you know, when when you get a really good gig or something and everything, like the time we played in Vegas, 
uh, <laughs> the time of the McGregor and Khabib fight, and like we had our own private cabana and our That's own right, private yeah. pool, and yeah. like all the bottles of Grey Goose vodka and peeling whiskey, you know, and it it was like you didn't care. That was amazing. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, you know, it was like, we had something Vegas similar stuff. there, Kieran, as well. I don't know if you knew that, but we had the Red Dragon. We had yeah. our own cabana. My, my, my memory of that, Kieran, is when I was singing Black and Tans, and I seen all the guys jumping into the pool with their clothes on. Yeah. Oh, Derek. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they, <laughs> they all jumped into the club pool. And I said, it's only Irish people would do that. I mean, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, that was an exceptional uh, occasion. Um, and, uh, but, Kieran, can I ask you, like, what do you do with your life now? Uh, what, what exciting 11 um, hour trips are you getting now? Come on. Tell us. Well, I think, you know, obviously we have to go back to before uh, everything happened with COVID. I mean, I uh, left the Young Wolf Tones. It was, I think, I, I, my last tour was the February, March tour of yeah. 2019. And uh, I'd been asked to join Irish Celtic, which was a, it's a huge uh, touring Irish dance show. And uh, it, was, it was a massive honour to be asked to join them. And, you know, it was literally... Uh, I started with them in the November of last year and we toured all around France for basically like all of November and the start of December we went into Germany and then we flew home and um, we flew home like three days before Christmas and then Stevens' morning I, I woke up um, here in Burr I woke up and I uh, had to get a bus from Ross Gray up to Dublin airport at four in the morning Stevens' morning and fly to France and do another run of gigs uh, with Irish Celtic. And it's an amazing gig. I mean, like, mm. we're, we were going in, you know, it's a lot of driving and it's still the long hours and it's still, it's all it's all universal, I think, for any band that's formed. It's, it's hard graft, it's on the road. It's, you, you know, you're, you're sleeping when you can, you know, that sort of way. But um, I think for us, with, with Irish Celtic, it was kind of... Um, when we get on, we get on the bus and stuff. Uh, we're, we're not doing the driving, yes. so you know, which you know, which was the thing that obviously there, there was a difference there. Like with the young ones, we it was all done. We did the driving ourselves. And, yeah, you know, you more so than yeah. all of us, Derek. You, yeah. I remember the time we got off the the cruise ship, the first cruise that we did, and we drove with the drive from what's the, what's the name of the port that we, we started? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. We drove from Fort Lauderdale to Tampa and packed the van and then literally drove up to Kansas City or, or something, I think it was. <laughs> Kansas City. And like we, yeah. went from, we went from like roasting Florida weather up into like <laughs> freezing rain and snow. We were building and, snowmen, remember? Yeah, <laughs> building snow, Derek Warfield. You know, uh, Kieran, I always, I always felt with you that you got rejuvenated. You got, you got new life when you went to Indianapolis. I always felt that Kieran came to life when he came to Indianapolis. I have great memories of you, smiling and happy person uh, uh, when you were in Indianapolis. That was your, that was your uh, happy place. Uh, yes, that was your, that was the Lords, the Lords. <laughs> well, I think I think it was maybe the Medjugorje, but I think I think Vegas was the Lord for me for, for most of it. <laughs> yeah, and um, Kenan, have you got a song for us? Have you got something that you're going to sing? Are you going to sing something for us? I want uh, my Lord Maris there. It's, uh, yeah, it's we have. Um, tell us about the song, Kieran. <laughs> so basically, with everything that happens with COVID and stuff, um, I suppose a bit of pretext to it. We. Uh, in the new year it was a brand new show written for Irish Celtic expanding on the story from the first show and um, basically we we started we did a week of rehearsals of this brand new show The Path of Legends uh, we did a week of rehearsals the last week of February of this year and we basically did all the tech runs with all the crew um, all the lighting it was a week of just stop start stop start and get the the show to where it needed to be when it went live and uh 
basically everything the COVID decided to happen. So we only actually got like a week into that brand new show, and mm-hmm. everything with COVID happened. We woke up on. Uh, and we were ahead. How long were you rehearsing for? How long were you rehearsing? So the show? we, the way with the new show, the way it worked is we we were the music was written and we were sent all of the sheet music and we had to we were sent backing tracks to to learn. So we we had them for maybe a month before we went and did a yeah. week of rehearsal. Or, we did a day of rehearsals in Glasgow with just the band um, and the musical director. And we, we did that. And then we flew to Paris where the dancers had already been in Paris for a week because obviously they had to so out where they have to stand on the stage and stuff where the band is stationary for most of the gig. So we didn't have to worry about stage placement where the dancers had to get that all started. So they were out a week before us. Um, well, we went out, we did, as I said, we did a week of rehearsals for this brand new show. Then we went to Germany for three weeks to do the old show and then back to France to begin this debut of this brand new show. And as I said, we woke up the following Monday, which was uh, eight days before St. Patrick's Day. And it was like, oh, yeah, all the gigs have been postponed. And it was a bit crazy. But this song um, is, a, is a new addition to the show. Um, it was basically released as a single to try and promote the show going into 2021. Um, so it was written by Anthony Davis, who's the musical director, and uh, I did the, the main vocal on it and kind of helped him with the arrangement. But the song is called Don't Let Go. So have you got it there, Damaris, when we listen to this, <coughs> the golden voice of Kieran <laughs> Cooney from Bordeaux? <laughs> <laughs>
lovely stuff, Kieran. Very nice. Oh, very nice, Thank Kieran. Me. Yeah. Thanks, well Bob. done. Yeah. Great yeah, job. Pierce, Pierce is Super. asking there, uh, what, do you know what coastline that is, Mush? That's down and off the coast of Kerry. The coast of, the, coast of Kerry. I think, I think they, call, they call them, they actually just call them the Kerry Cliffs. Um, oh, wow. And the, only, the reason I know that is, I <laughs> after the video was made, obviously I didn't know what B-roll they were putting in. And in the time that that was happening, I'd actually been down for a spin on the motorbike down there with, with Eddie Zealand. And I noticed right. the walkway. So that's it's definitely the west coast of Ireland, anyway, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Looked a bit like Scotland to me, too, as well. So oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, very nice. And uh, well done. But I want to say, uh, Kieran, uh, it's a beautiful track. And uh, I think we'll all wish you the very best when we get back on the road. And I'm sure that sh uh, show will be a wonderful success because it's obvious that the, the writer um, and yourself, and who was the young lady who was singing with you? Her name is Vicky Carroll. She's yeah. from Birmingham. She, oh, yeah, she's she very talented too. She got a great voice. Um, but I think we'll all wish you the very best. I hope you... Um, you yeah, see, Kenneth, you're, you're you're streaming live every Sunday now, aren't you, Kieran? So tell yeah, me about live stream. every every Sunday for uh, the month of December. Just it was kind of, I I was doing. I think I did like three or four live streams, um, kind of at the start of the whole pandemic and lockdown, and um, I kind of just, I suppose, went in on myself a small bit, and I kind of, it was it was kind of got to a point where I think for a lot of us it was like, oh, what's the bloody point? And I just everyone just got a bit fed up, um, with coronavirus and all this thing and, and I was the same and I said to myself you know this would have been an extremely busy time of year for myself and for all of us and I said it'd be nice to just kind of get back into it so I said every Sunday so every Sunday over on Kieran Cooney Music on Facebook from 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock well, uh, well enjoy uh, Kieran. thanks very much for taking the time to share your songs with us and come along with us and um, the very best of luck to you and when it does open up and we're all back on the stage where mm, we yeah. should be yeah for sure uh, I give you a very the, best uh, to your family and all the, uh, your care and uh, from from ourselves from the young wolf tones and uh, um I'll hand you back to the Maris. Perfect. And lads, I, I want to wish you all a very happy Christmas and a happy new year and I hope you're all very well and thanks for having you me. You too, Kieran. Yeah, Great to see you, Happy Christmas, man. Take it easy, folks. Take, Take care. See you, pal. Oh, yeah, Kieran. Yeah. Great, Great song. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. beautiful. Yeah. Nice yeah. I've stuck well. the I've stuck the links up there in the comment in the comments if anyone wants to go over and have, and follow Kieran on his page, uh, Kieran Akuna there on Facebook. So you can click the link and follow him and uh, give yeah, him. Yes, there's lots of live streams this weekend. Is um we're going to be streaming streaming live tomorrow evening <coughs> at the same time for the Irish Music Magazine at seven o'clock for an hour, and then myself and Milo will be live on Saturday night for an hour for two hours. Live, alive all with the virus and Milo. <laughs> That's it, and whoever wants to, whoever wants to join us. So, you never know. We might rope in a couple of special guests here and there. So, okay. Lovely. Next song, Derek. Next song is. Uh, um, we'll, we'll dedicate this one to uh, to Kieran, and um, I think uh, all of the young lads that have had in the band, uh, we all get a buzz from this song because it brings the audience together with our music. It feel like it's our theme song. We're on the one road, so. Uh, we're always on the one road, and uh, please God, shortly we'll be all back on the road uh, performing. So, uh, Kieran, uh, the very best of luck, and here's one for you on the one road. We're on the one road, sharing the one load. We're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, and maybe the wrong road. But we're together now, who cares? North men, south men, comrades all Dublin, Belfast, Cork and Donegal We're on the one road, singing along We're singing a soldier song And though we've had our troubles now and then Now is the time to make them up again Sure aren't we all Irish anyhow Now is the time to step together now We're on the one road, share the one load We're on the road to God 
knows where We're on the one road And maybe the wrong road But we're together now Who cares? Northmen, Southmen Comrades of Dublin, Belfast, Cork and Donegal We're on the one road Swinging along We're singing a soldier song Oh, Tinker, Taylor, every mother's song A butcher, a baker, shouldering his gun a Rich man, a poor man, every man lying Oh, take it just like old lang syne We're on the one road, sharing the one load We're on the road to God knows where We're on the one road, and maybe the wrong road But we're together now, who cares? Northmen, Southmen, comrades all Dublin, Belfast, Cork, and Donegal We're on the one road, swinging along We're singing a soldier's song Oh, night is dark, as just before the dawn From this ancient island and this reborn Soon we'll all united Irishmen Make our land a nation once again We're on the one road Share the one load, we're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, it may be the wrong road, but we're together now, who cares? Northmen, Southmen, comrades all, Dublin, Belfast, Cork and Donegal. We're on the one road, we're swinging along, we're singing a soldier's song. One more time together. We're on the one road. Sharing the one load, we're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, it may be the wrong road, but we're together now, who cares? Northmen, Southmen, comrades all, Dublin, Belfast, Cork and Donegal. We're on the one road, we're singing along, we're singing a soldier song. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mighty. I do Lord. miss that on stage. That's it. don't you miss yeah. that one? Yeah. 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 Miss stage. Never mind what song it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're very choosy, Cormac. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Delighted to be on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> I can do a rally stage at this stage. <laughs> Excuse the pun. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm actually. I'm, I'm the next song actually is. I know um, a few people have asked for this one. A few people have asked for the streets of New York. So I'm going to give that a lash here now. Oh, lovely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I better. I, I better uh, dedicate this especially to me, ma'am. Seeing as it's her birthday yeah. today. Happy birthday, oh, uh, ma'am. Happy oh. birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday mommy. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Very uh, uh, so she, I know she likes this song as well. So here's this. We'll do this one for you, ma'am. A very happy birthday to you. Excellent. No. Lovely. Did she like her flowers? She loved her flowers, the Mars. <laughs> <She did>. Oh. <laughs> I was 18 years old when I went down to Dublin with a fistful of money and a cartload of dreams. Take your time, said me father, stop rushing like hell and remember all is not what it seems to be. For there's fellas what cut you for the coat on your back or the watch that you got from your mother. So take care, my young bucko, and mind yourself well Will you give this sweet note to me, brother? At the time, Uncle Benji was a policeman in Brooklyn My father, the youngest, he looked after the farm When a phone call from America said, send a lad over Me old fella said, sure it wouldn't do any harm for I've spent my life working this dirty old ground For a few pints of porter and the smell of the pound Sure maybe there's something you'll learn or you'll see And you can bring it back home, make it easy on me So I landed at 
at Kennedy when a big yellow taxi carried me and me bags through the streets and the rain. Well, me poor heart was thumping around with excitement and I hardly even heard what the driver was saying. We came in the short part way through the flat plans of Brooklyn to my uncle's apartment on East 53rd. I was feeling so happy, I was humming a song And I sang, you're as free as a bird Well, to shorten the story, what I found out that day Uncle Benji got shut down in an uptown foray And while I was flying my way to New York Poor Benji was lying in a cold city morgue so I phoned up the old fella and told him the news I could tell he could hardly stand up in his shoes And he wept as he told me, go ahead with the plan And not to forget, be a proud Irish man So I went up to Nelly's beside Fordham Road Started to learn about lifting the load but the heaviest thing that I carried that year Was the bittersweet thoughts of my hometown so dear I went home that December cause me old fella died And to borrow the money from Phil on the side And sure all the bright flowers and grass couldn't hide The poor wasted face of my father I sold up the old farmyard for what it was worth And into my bag stuck a handful of earth And I boarded a plane and I caught me a train And I found myself back in the U.S. again It's been 22 years since I set foot in Dublin The kids know to use the correct knife and fork but I'll never forget the green grass and the rivers As I keep law and order on the streets of New Great job, uh, Milo. Uh, a great job. And uh, 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 thanks uh, indeed for all the requests for that song. We got a lot of requests for uh, The Streets of New York. And uh, I think we're going to have uh, the Maris up playing a few tunes next, are we? Are we? Yes. Oh. That's the first I heard of it now. Oh. Yeah, the Fox Hunter. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, we're not even on stage when you're, snow show, you're throwing in the sneaky beak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but remember, Damaris, you, you control the buttons, so. <laughs> <You know. laughs> yes. Uh, um, but you know what was nice to see, um, uh, going back to Kieran's, uh, they had two nice sure mics uh, singing to the sure mics. When we were uh, starting up uh, singing, they were the mics, uh, they were the bees knees mics. You had a big sure mic like that. Uh, everyone would hear you. They'd hear you, um, they'd hear you in O'Connell Street if you were, <laughs> <laughs> if you were in Chicago. Uh, because the, the sure mics, um, and I'm, I I see they're coming back. I see a lot of people using them. Maybe they're imitation, um, but I see a lot uh -huh. of people. Um, they're, they're really nice. Um, um, but um, have you any requests there, Damaris? So, um, tell the people about our stocking stuffers, right? Oh, yeah, well, they can do, well, the links have gone up there now for the face mask and the band camp, of course. And today is one of the band camp. Um, they, today, they're not taking any fees. So we're delighted. Um, Pat O'Halloran is looking for Mason's apron. Jim is looking for Jingle Bells. He is too Yay. Yay, Jim. Go, Jim. <laughs> Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. And the guys from the band Devery have tuned in there from all the way from Boston. So how are you oh, hello. Hi, guys. Hello, how Declan. Are you? Declan, love lads. Yep. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Great to hear from you. Up down you go. Hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, 
Okay, future, few tunes. Okay. Great tune. That yeah. was a good one. Well, folks, I have a real treat for you here. I love that one. Uh, no uh, folk band, no ballad band would be complete without a banjo player. Uh, and we're very fortunate in the Young Wolf Tones to have the best banjo player in Ireland. Playing the tenor banjo, Damaris Woods, excels in that instrument that has brought so much joy to people all around the world. Not only is Damaris a wonderful a musician, but she's also a wonderful teacher. And you don't often get the two things together. So, we're going to play a tune for you now and enjoy it. It's called The Fox Hunter's Reel. And The Fox Hunter's Reel, if you listen closely, you can almost hear the foxes screaming to get out uh, from the sight of all the hounds that are following them. So here's the great Fox Hunter's Reel featuring the great banjo playing of Damaris Woods from County Meath.
Wow. Uh, some, some finish. Some finish. <laughs> Where would you get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where would you get it? Is right. I mean, that's uh, Absolutely. We need a bit more practice for the jump at the end, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, Andreas, I thought you were going to. I thought Andrew was going to judo chop the piano in half at the end of it. God only knows what could have happened there. Uh, we must get you. Um, uh, what I want to say, no matter, that's one of the best tunes that you play. It's a um, wonderful tune. Jim said, Jim this... said um, Derek, Jim said, um, the fox hunt is real. Your intro was very rough. <laughs> Yeah, I <laughs> uh, see. Um, <laughs> well, uh, it was very rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, well, um, there we are. That's uh, the fault of real. Um, I, 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 we have done on one of our CDs, haven't we? And um, the call Baron, yeah. <laughs> if anybody wants to uh, get a copy of his son, the, the uh, CD, the call the Baron, you get it at band, band camp, and um, it's a wonderful piece of music. and uh, God bless the man who wrote it. Um, it's a, a very old uh, reel, like a lot of the traditional music of Ireland goes back many, many generations. But we're going to move on. And uh, I think we have a Bodenstown Churchyard. Have we next? We do indeed, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I think this is, um, this tells a story in itself. Of course, the Bodenstown Churchyard was written by the great Irish uh, poet, Thomas Davis. Thomas Davis was an inspiring poet, patriot, of the 19th century with his words and his, and his literature and his poems. He inspired generations of Irish people uh, with his beautiful words. A, a, an extremely talented man. He was from uh, Mallow in County Cork and he uh, wrote some beautiful songs. The West Awake uh, was, was a song that we recorded in uh, a ballad, uh, this one, Bowdenstown Churchyard. There's a very long story about this, but it um, it probably would have never have been written except for Wolf Tone's uh, wife, Matilda. She was living in Maryland and she wrote a letter to Dublin uh, to the editor of the Freeman's Journal uh, asking him to, to do what he could uh, to remember the love of her childhood and her first husband, um, Theobald Wolf Tone. And uh, uh, the editor of the Freeman's Journal was a man called Dr. Gray. And he, he went to Thomas Davis and said, listen, would you write something uh, to memorialize uh, Wolf Tone for the great patriot that he was? And the result was Bodenstown. And it's um, a beautiful song. And I have to say, Milo, it's great to hear a Kildare man sing the song, uh, as you probably know. Wolf Town is buried in in the, your county, and uh, I think you got special pride in singing this, didn't you? I, absolutely, and uh, yeah, at, at the time it, I was learning the song as well because it wasn't the song that I was originally familiar with. But when we sat down to learn it, I grew more and more fond of it every time I sang it, and um, even even now it's one of my favorites. And I can't wait to bring it to stage when we are back on stage, you know, and and perform it live for for the audience and. So yeah, have a little bit of a place in your heart for this song now. So, uh, and thanks to thanks Derek for uh, hand, handing it to me. Uh, well, Thomas Davis is the man that uh, inspired it. Uh, he was the inspiration of so many people, including myself. Uh, for over the years, he wrote some great, uh, great, great ballads and poems. And so here it is, um, Bowden's Town Churchyard, uh, sung by the great Milo from Kildare. I'm standing here in Bodenstown Churchyard in County Kildare, and I'm here today along with the band to pay tribute to one of Ireland's greatest patriotic figures, Theobald Wolf Tom. I played and performed in two bands that honoured his name, the Wolf Tones and LB Young Wolf Tones. Wolf Tom was an extraordinary man. He inspired generations of Irish people by his actions, his thoughts, and his deeds. And we're going to sing today a song that was written by Thomas Davis. And the story behind that song is very simple. Wolf Tone's wife was living in Georgetown, Maryland in the early 1840s. And she wrote to Dr. Gray, who was editor of the Freeman's Journal. And she complained that she had read that her first husband, the love of her youth, was 
being called a murderer and she was outraged and she said my husband was a patriotic man who loved Ireland and she asked if Dr Gray would redress indeed the things that were being written about him and he said he would and he went to the right man to do just that. He went to Thomas Davis and said to Thomas Davis, Matilda Tone has written to me, asked me to remember her husband as the patriotic figure that he was. And he came down here to Bodenstown, Thomas Davis, and he wrote this song. And he wrote a brilliant ballad that in a few lines and a couple of verses captured indeed the meaning of the life of our greatest patriotic figure, Theobald Wolf Tone. Now, we're going to sing the song, but before we do so, I want to thank you, indeed, for the reverence that you've shown to our music and song over the years. Here to sing the song is the golden voice of a Kildare man, Milo Milan, accompanied by Damaris on the banjo and myself on the mandolin. So here's Bowdenstown Churchyard. In Bodenstown Churchyard There is a green grave And wildly around it The winter winds rave Smaller shelter I ween Are the ruined walls there when the storm sweeps down on the plains of Kildare. I once stood on that spot that lies over Wolf Tone and thought how he perished in prison alone. His friends unavenged and his country unfreed. Oh, bitter, I said, is the patriot's need. For in him the heart of a woman combined with a heroic spirit and a governing mind, a martyr his grave has no stone and his name seldom named and his virtues unknown I was woke from my dream by the voices and to read of a band who came into the home of the dead and they carried no cards and they carried no stone and they stopped when they came to the grave of old Tone. there were students and teachers the wise and the brave and an old man children who taught me hard-hearted for they on that sanctified sod were forbidden to play and the old man who saw I was mourning there said we come sir to weep where young wolf tone is laid and we're going his old hand and blessed him and I blessed every one of his band sweet sweet to 
tears to find that such fate can remain in the cause and the man so long vanquished and slain in Bowden's town churchyard there is a green grave and freely around it led winter winds rave far better they soon Well done, well lovely. Oh, thanks, Derek, and and, and well done to yourselves as well. And, lovely, yeah. And Stephen Demaris, yeah, fantastic. Thanks, thanks to everyone out there. We have another, we have them. another Bertie. We have another Bertie this week as well. We have um, um, so we might do them an old Bertie song. Is from well, we have obviously with Milo's mammy, but we also also it's also Kieran Cooney's Bertie, mammy's Bertie as well. That's right. <laughs> wow. Milo was only <laughs> Happy birthday in a uh, uh, Zag. Have you seen Zig and Zag on the den this week the, lately? No. So they do their they, they, they do their birthday slot in a rap. So I think you should do it in a rap. <laughs> well you're the one that you're the one that watched the only TV, Andreas. Yeah, you, 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 you know it, it. you know it, Andreas. <laughs> happy, you know it. happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so never hear it again. <laughs> we'll play a wee song for the mammies. Um, we'll play um, Come Down From The Mountain, Katie Daly. Lovely. Uh, yes. yes. Nice, happy song. So here we go. Zag style. <laughs> Zag style, yes. <laughs> now, Offaly has a long association with people making whiskey. And sometimes illegal whiskey. And Katie Daly was one of the famous ladies uh, that uh, came from very close to here in uh, Tipperary County, Offaly, uh, because they're very, very close. And uh, she made great whiskey. It became so popular that the excise people in London said, we want to get our hands on her recipe for the whiskey. But Katie was a smart lady. She escaped, went to America, landed in Philadelphia. She didn't like it too much. She went down to Tennessee. And she was walking up the street in Nashville, and she met this fella. And they fell in love. He said, who are you, lady? She says, I'm Katie Daly from Ireland. Who are you? And he says, my name is Jack. Jack Daniels. Oh, boy, she says, have I got news for you? And she gave him the recipe, and the rest is history. And here's to tell the story in music. Andrea San, come down from the mountains, Katie Daly. In the pioneer year, 42 Her old man, he was shot in Tombstone City For the making of the Irish Mountain Jew Hey! Come down the mountains, Katie Daly Come down from the mountains, Katie Do Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish Mountain Jew Wake up and pay attention, Katie Daly. I'm the judge that's going to say it's you. All the boys are going to drink your whiskey. And to tell the truth to your Katie, I drank some too. Hey! 
come down the mountains, Katie Dealey. Come down from the mountains, Katie Do. Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish mountain Jew. All right. So off to jail, they took poor Katie Daly. But very soon the gates, he opened wide. An angel came for poor old Katie Daly and took her far across the great divide. Hey, come down the mountains, Katie Daly. Come down from the mountains, Katie Do. Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish mountain Jew. Well, at the Golden Gates, there stood for Katie. St. Peter said, good brewers, they are few. So step inside the Golden Gates, dear Katie, and start to brew your heavenly mountain dew. Hey, come down the mountains, Katie Daly. Come down from the mountains, Katie Do. Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish Mountain Dew. Everybody! Come down the mountains, Katie Daly. Come down from the mountains, Katie Do. Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish Mountain Dew. One, two, three! Come down the mountains, Katie Daly. Come down from the mountains, Katie Do. Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish Mountain Dew. Can't you hear us calling Katie Daly? We want to drink your Irish Mountain Dew. Yep. Lovely. Well done and happy birthday to, ma to the boat mammies. Yep. Mm, the Mammy Verde, yes, yeah. yeah absolutely. Absolutely. We have, yes. we have, uh, we had a report there that it's Eddie, young Eddie Kane's birthday tomorrow, and he'd love if the Maris would sing Happy Birthday to him. And I think that's no better, <laughs> no better an idea. I think it's a great yes, idea. Yes, a great idea, great yeah. idea. Yeah, would he, would he like that in Chicken's Ag style as well? Uh, would he? Even better again, <laughs> even better again. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a happy birthday for tomorrow, Eddie. Anyway, yes, yes. Happy, I mean, happy birthday to Eddie. Eddie is um, is um, the baby, you know, of the uh, the balladeers, uh, and um, we wish him uh, a very happy day uh, from all of us here, uh, Eddie. I think you've seen Eddie with us here a couple of weeks ago. He was our guest, and uh, he's a very talented young man from uh, from uh, County Kildare, and uh, you're going to hear an awful lot of more about him over the coming years. Uh, Eddie Kane. So uh, we're back Derek, to the song. Derek, what have we got we, coming up we, next? We, Willie, Willie Brogan, Derek, is wondering uh, is there any truth behind that story of Katie Daly and Jack Daniels? Don't believe <laughs> don't believe a word of it. <laughs> it's like it's like all stories about whiskey that all do lie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I did tell him I did I I replied to him, I said Derek never tells lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, no. Stephanie, uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Abrams is watching in. Oh, okay. Stephanie. She says she, she misses our faces and she said um, she said she wants to do a telephone interview and she wants you to tell the Jack Daniel story. She said she's <laughs> never heard it from you before. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be saying it again if people think it's for real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, Bridget, Bridget Hogan is looking for jingle bells in Irish. That's your, oh, that's your, yeah. that's your forte, Derek. Yeah, oh, Derek. No. Yeah, no, you. Would... All right, Lynn. Um, <laughs> the jingle bells in Irish. I'm sure you find it. Um, who, who's looking for it? Bridget Hogan. A bula bus, a bula bus, a bula bus, galair. Ta daddy, na na na, chuck the noose and noose on chimbalair. Oh, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a galair. Ta daddy, na na na, chuck the noose and noose on chimbalair. Hey! 
Ottawa, Ottawa. A couple of fuckle. Will uh, Will Jim Woods? Uh, will she? Against the Jim with the round. Will Jim Woods stand up? <laughs> yeah. Jim, please, Jim on. Woods, please stand up. <laughs> yes. Jim, yeah, Jim is a girl girl. He has a couple of folk. Got law. With the round, Jim. Cut the town and folk an ish. Okay, you can uh, come something, I'm sure. But by, well, he'll be, he'll be teaching everybody now the next couple of nights how to sing it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. We'll we'll um, we'll get him um, we, next week. Uh, we'll will be our, our show before Christmas, so we'll have a couple of um, Santa Claus messages for you and um, Holly and Ivy, Holly and Ivy jokes, and uh, I'm sure <laughs> Milo will come up with a few stinging <laughs> jokes with a, a couple of nice. Yeah, Milo, you've been very quiet of late. Have I? Yes, <laughs> yeah. With your jokes. With your jokes. I'm just giving you a bit of room, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Andreas gets to wear his Christmas jumper next week. He's got a new Christmas exactly. jumper. Oh, God. I, 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 all out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yes. wait to see it on you, Andreas. Next week oh, now. baby. That's it. Oh, baby. Okay. Yes. Round the town. Round the town. Before we have a round screen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing you a song of a rowan that's held. When the green flag went up and the crown rag came down, was the neatest and sweetest thing ever you saw. When they played the best game played in their and abroad. God rest Gallum Pierce and his comrades who died. Tom Clark, MacDonough, Mac. Right. And here's to James Connolly who gave one hurrah And he faced the machine guns for Aaron McGraw Now some of our leaders were down at Prince End The honour of Ireland to hold and defend They have no veteran soldiers but volunteers wrong Sweet mouths are music for there in the crowd. Old Kent and his comrades like lions at bay. From the South Dublin Union, Cortet and the Sway. And what was the wrath when those Englishmen saw? All the dead khaki soldiers. Captain was raving that day, saying, Give me one hour and I'll blow them away. When a big mouser bullet got stuck in his jaw, and he died of lead poison in there and the crowd. All on her to Dublin to hers the mean down. In the long generation, that in so long that's a great one and, you, know, well, that was, you sing that great yes so. that's oh, uh, Cormac, well done Cormac. and i had to tell the folks that was one of the first songs that we recorded uh thanks to mr zoom we were all shocked that we could actually <laughs> play together uh separated <laughs> uh, so it was a learning experience uh, that one and uh, i i'm sure you all remember and because uh we were all in different places we didn't know if you could even 
it was possible to do it and we tried it and that was the result it was the first one of the first ones and uh, I think um we've learned a lot since then about how to um, make Mr. Zoom sound a bit better. And uh, <laughs> we've uh, we've enhanced the uh, the sound quality of a lot of the songs. But I, I think uh, it was a wonderful song, by the way. I didn't get a chance to remind you that Amanda wrote it, Paddock Kearney. He wrote our national anthem, The Soldier Song. He wrote The Tricolored Ribbon. He wrote some great ballads, uh, The Bold Fenian Men. Uh, Paddock Kearney was a, a wonderful ballad writer. And uh, he's remembered by, by that and many songs. And of course, the soldier song that's our, our national anthem that he wrote. So, hand it back to you, Damaris. That's uh, around the oh. town. Or Aaron Gubra, Ireland forever. Absolutely. Um, lots of Stop people it. enjoying that. Pat O'Halloran is looking for Banner Strand or John oh. McDonnell. Um, okay, well, I think we have a track ready for. Let me see what we have. Okay. What's the story with all these Kildare songs tonight now? I don't know. Yeah, up the lilies, up the lilies, up the lilies. Up the lilies. Up the lilies. Up the lilies. Up the last couple of weeks, so I'll gladly give it to Kildare, you know. Yeah. I think we'll have, you'll have to throw a Dublin song in there tomorrow. A few, yeah, no, sure I think a few, um, Another one. A few mead sure songs, you know. I think a few mead songs is coming up. Beautiful you know? mead. A few mead, lovely. Mead. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Anyway. I'm, talking about the, I'm talking about the mead you drink now, not the, not the county. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we have some water, please? Say a word of Kildare. Is she waking or sleeping? The day of our testing is growing apace. As mighty as winter, those fellows on leaping, while fathers ring out from the lips of a race. And what of Kildare ever foremost and ready? Whenever the war flag was raised to the right, she's lifted her standard true hearted and steady. Kildare ought to be in the thick of the fight. From Nace to Manute, please the slogan. Of freedom from New Bristol leagues to Kilcock and a tie. The men from Kildare are there when we need them. They know how to fight and they know how to die. To this shrine of St. Bridget, whose lamp ever burning shot out like a star on the ramparts of God. The home of Lord Edward, our eagle of morning, could traitors abide on so sacred a sod. Could fear of defeat or despair of tomorrow, find place where the ashes of tone are at rest. Is the room for a coward or time for a sorrow? But croom of a watchword or tree for a crest. From Nace to Manute, please the slow. Spoken of freedom from New Bridge to Leeds to Kilcock and a tie. The men from Kildare are there when we need them. They know how to fight and they know how to die. The challenge she threw in the face of the foreman of old when our clans flashed her fanchions in air is still to the fore. For the finish that no man shall humble the shield of his Gerald's Kildare. Unconquered and invincible, steadfast forever, with a hand for the south and the north and the west. The foremost and onset, the latest to waver. She stands with the counties, the first and the best. From Nace to Manute, please the slow. Of freedom from New Bridge to Leeds to Kilcock and a tie. The men from Kildare are there when we need them. They know how to fight and they know how to die. 
little dares away For she never has slumbered Whenever the summons to battle went forth The deeds of her dead The bravest are numbered The sons of her soil are the salt of the earth As true as the Livy that sweeps ever onward Through sunshine and storming Through shadow and light Caldera holds a standard aloft in the vanguard Caldera ought to be in the thick of the fight from Nace to Minute leads the slogan of freedom From Newbridge to Leeds to Kilcock and Atai The men from Kildare are there when we need them They know how to fight and they know how to die There the spirit of liberty hovers on sleeping Where rebels and martyrs from birth in the grave The murder of Mullock Mast but you're still keeping all fields never trod by the foot of a slave. Up the lilies, huh? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> um, well, if that's yeah, all you can be cheering some... about, I let you go ahead, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> we need something, Andreas. We need something. I know that, but that's what I'm saying. Go ahead, no problem. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, oh, we'll have no dis- less of that inter-county rivalry, please. Now, yes, but all together. <laughs> well, well, can I, when we are talking about the county, well done to Dublin last week. Kevin mm-hmm. tried and sure, look, we, we failed, but we'll be yeah. back. Well, uh, you know, the, the, in that, that Dublin team are so good and I think it is, they have so many people on the bench that he can call and bring on uh, and, uh, you know, it's um, it's uh, and a- every team has a life, you know. There's been great teams in the past, and they've come and they've gone, but that's going to happen. Yeah, Dublin's again. just got on too, too long. Yes, yeah. But I mean, it is too long. <laughs> really, like, you know, <laughs> yes. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> yeah. What What have we got next, uh, Marissa? Uh, oh, look at him. Uh, you see the way he just went straight Have we a double? <laughs> A Dublin song, is that what you want to yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think we'll have the, um... Oh, God. I think we'll I think have we'll the... Back to, the uh... to sing Happy Birthday again, was it? Happy yeah, happy and ignore birthday. that request now. <laughs> poor Eddie, yeah. Now. Poor Eddie, poor Eddie. Uh, poor Eddie, right. <laughs> Eddie's barred. He's banned. Yeah. From... Where's the party, Eddie? Eddie, tell us where the party is. Eddie, Eddie was mitching last night. He mitched his banjo lesson last night. Oh. You were caught, you were caught oh. mitching, Eddie. You were caught mitching. Oh. Oh. <laughs> then he asked for happy birthday the day after. Yeah, uh, yeah cheek. Come on, Eddie. Yeah. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. With our nets and gear we're faring On the wild and wasteful ocean It's out there on the deep we have Hey 
Night and day the seas were daring. Come winter, come or winter gale. Swear As you hunt the bunny shoals of herring. Mighty job, Marlon. Lovely. Yeah, Great stuff. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Great song. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course... Um, it was uh, the man who made that popular, uh, Lou Kelly, uh, over his lifetime. He, he sung it with his, and I must say, um, you have the same passion, Milo, as Luke, and you have the voice that um, would have, uh, always listening to Luke sing, and I always felt that he, he, he sung a song with such great passion and understanding of the lyrics that he sung with, <laughs> with a powerful uh belief in the, every word that he was uh, saying that he meant it, it was true like you know he is um, uh, a, a powerful balladeer and uh, uh, that that was a tribute to his 80th birthday and thanks Milo for singing it yeah thank you Derek thanks very much I, I see, um, yeah go ahead sorry Demars go on go on Andreas you're okay I see I see Kelly just sent us five hundred dollars oh wait sorry five hundred <laughs> stars sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that, would, that would be a fine thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, oh Lord! <laughs> but if you want to send us five hundred dollars, there's no problem, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, let, Kelly, Kelly wants to know how many platinum albums I have because she sees them on the wall behind us. Yeah. Not enough. I, not I, enough. I say no. I have none. But unfortunately, I do have the job of having to clean them. That's as close as I get to it. <laughs> do you remember the episode of Father Ted where your one came and you wanted to take the, the house of Father Ted in Dougal? Yeah. And she says, yeah. I've sold 17 million albums. Do you know if you realize who I am? <laughs> <laughs> so anyone can ask you, Damaris, tell them 17 million. Okay, yes, no yeah. problem. I'll, yeah. I'll, no problem. Actually, we had a lot of requests now for the next song, um, Back Home in Derry. So we would would you ever forget how cold it was when we were doing this video? Oh, no, no. It's just, it was tropically cold. <laughs> I, get, I get shivers. <laughs> Where? <laughs> In 1803, we sailed out to sea, out from the sweet town of Derry. For Australia bound, if we didn't all drown, and the marks of our fetters we carried. In the rusty iron chains, we sighed for our wains, as our good women we left in sorrow. As the mainsails unfurled, our courses we heard At the English and the thoughts of tomorrow Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry out of the foil, bid farewell to the soil, as down below decks we were lying. Out the heart he screamed, woken out from a dream, by the vision of bold Robert dying. The sun had burned cruel, as we dished out the gruel, Dan O'Connor was down with the fever. Sixty rebels today bound for Botany Bay How many will meet their receiver? Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry Oh, I wish I was
was back home in Delhi. Stem to hell as I bell for the swell. I ship dance like a moth in the firelight. White horses rode high as the devil passed by, taking souls to Hades by twilight. Five weeks out at sea, we were now forty-three. We buried our comrades each morning. In our own slime, we were lost in the time of endless night without dawning. Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry. Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry. Van Diemen's land is a hell for a man To live out his whole life in slavery Where the climate is raw and the gun makes the law Neither wind nor rain cares for bravery Twenty years have passed by and they've ended me bond My comrades go squawk behind me A rebel I came, oh I'm still the same on the cold winds of night now you'll find me Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry That brings it all back. It does. Lovely, doesn't it? Remember that? Absolutely. It was absolutely yeah. freezing. Baltic. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And I should tell all our folks watching that we did that before COVID, uh, just a couple of weeks before, in fact. Uh, and uh, uh, right. we, um, uh, we had plans to do a lot more, but we never got to do them. And of <laughs> oh. course, Mr. COVID put an end to a lot of plans this year for ourselves the young wolf tones and for all uh, musicians and uh, performers and uh, well we hope that um, you enjoyed the show and um, uh, be more requested um the marathon have you time for one more or we, we will, you... of course we have time for probably two more yes um, I, I suppose since then we're coming up to christmas well and actually we did have a request earlier on for the helicopter song so let's <clears throat> Uh, the famous re re escape back in 1973. Here it is. Absolutely. I see Kelly has replied she's sending on $5,000, not 500 <laughs> <laughs> she, she, She's going to clean up um, the golden discs, uh, the platinum discs for um, her letter. <laughs> She has her work. She has, no <laughs> she has no idea what she's let herself in for. <laughs> that's a lot of lessons, right? Mm. No, no, one lesson. Gotta clean them. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> I hear the water cry, sure there must have been a bird that flew into my prison. Or one of these new ministers says, no other in the joy. Early one morning as the Frenchmen they were sleeping, a little helicopter flew across the sky. Down into the yard where some prisoners were walking, get ready for an infection cell. The water in the joy, and it's up like a board, and it's over the city. Three men are missing, I hear the water cry. Sure, it must have been the board that flew into the prison. And one of these new minister says, the water in the joy. Now in the yard to the pushing and the shoving. Three of the prisoners climbed upon the board. Up and away they went into the grey skies. Think of someone escaping cell. 
the water and the joy and the talk like a bird and the solar city. Three men are listen, I hear the water cry, for the most of being a bird that flew into the prison. Of one of these new minister sells the water and the joy. Over in the doll they were drinking the jail and brandy. The minister for justice was soaking up the sun. When came this little message, the prisoners were escaping. I think the three of the probe sells the water in the joy and the shock, like a bird and the solar city. Three had listen, I hear the water cry. There must have been a bird that flew into the prison. One of these new ministers sells the water in the joy. Every old, said every new granny, who had to know the rest until his manner found. For this man will happen to a law in other government. The king can never find himself to honor and the joy and the shock, like a bird and the solar city. We had a listen, I hear the water cry, there must have been a bird that flew into the prison. Oh, one of these new ends the cell. Like a bird and the solar city Three had her listen, I hear the water cry There must have been a bird that flew into the prison Of one of these new ministers says The prison guards in the sky The prison guards in Mount Joy, and I think I told that story the last time uh, the uh, um, when we were talking about the helicopter. I won't tell it again because we're getting close to the end of the evening. But let me say uh, that there have been a great uh, um, audience all, all year long. Uh, 33 shows is a long time uh, to entertain and the, to keep the momentum up. We've uh, spent a lot of time, and particularly the Morris and Milo in the in uh, improving the quality of the sound and uh, the continuity of the shows every Friday. We do appreciate the support that you've given us. Uh, it's rewarding when we see that so many people come back to watch the show uh, between uh, like 15 and 30,000 every week watch this show, and which is a wonderful tribute to all of our friends and uh, supporters out there. And uh, on behalf of the band, I would like to thank you and if you can't join us next week, and I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas and with the spirit of the season, uh, a, a peaceful one. And please, God, in uh, 2021, all of the memories of uh, this will be just a talking point and uh, we'll be back uh, to something uh, close to normal uh, and uh, back with live entertainment, uh, something that we all love and share. Uh, so... Uh, he's looking forward to next year and to there'll be nobody who will mourn the loss of 2020. <laughs> and over to you, Damaris, go ahead. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit worried about when we get back to normal because, you know, <clears throat> things were never really that normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your normal is. <laughs> I think I think I think COVID was sent us was sent to us to calm us down because we had such oh, a wild no, year in 2019. So we did. Yeah. 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 Well, let me just say it'll probably be a new normal, right? A new. Okay, we call it a new normal. Oh, I just think I think everyone. Every... Anything will do. So we, when we go to the Red Dragon, will that be the new normal? Yes. I just yeah. I tell you, the new normal there was we'll yeah. be there for two nights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every everyone will be thinking, you know, this is. Well, if it happens again, <laughs> uh, I think yeah. there's a good chance that the new uh, the Red Dragon mightn't be there anymore. <laughs> were the characters that were there that night? God only knows what we took over. Yes. <laughs> What's this wee business? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh God! Thanks to everybody that were, um, took part in our show tonight in some way or another. Um, Pierce joined us in a couple of the videos there. Wayne joined us there. Thanks, Wayne. Brendan Keenan, he always gives a hand with some of the videos. Luca Byrne from the wonderful band, the Byrne Brothers. Suzanne, of course, comic's wife for helping us share. And of course, our special guest tonight, Kieran Cooney. Thanks, Kieran. And Dovin, yep. he will be live 
on Sunday night. And don't forget, we're actually going to be live on the Irish Music Magazine page tomorrow evening at seven o'clock for an hour. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that Irish time, uh, Damaris? Yes, it, it is. Yeah. Uh, seven o'clock Irish time, yeah. Yes. Uh, so for uh, people in America, it'll be two in the afternoon, right? That's in correct. East yeah. Coast, yeah, Eastern Standard. Um, but if you want to, it's for um, the Irish Music Magazine, which is the magazine that, um, uh, you know, uh, gives the information on all the musical happenings in the Irish world. And of course, uh, I, the magazine is very uh -huh. supportive of all uh, Irish music and uh, has a great circulation worldwide. So, uh, thanks to all of you too. Uh, and the best of luck to you, uh, Cormac. I know you're the only one of the Young Wolf Tones that's uh, performing at the moment. Uh, you're performing up there in um, uh, I'm in Destin. Destin. In Destin. In, yeah. what, in Maguire's. I'm in Maguire's in Destin. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. And, so, uh, uh, we're flying yeah. the flag for everyone, anyway. That's for sure. Yes, Comic is well, the uh, the Young Wolf Tones ambassador in America at the moment and carrying the flag for us. Uh, so <laughs> yes. continue. Uh, and what's kind of worrying, like? folks? It's kind of worrying, but you know, things. Yeah. Someone's got to do it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just uh, share with us, um, uh, Comic, uh, how it's been over the last week. You performing there was it? Is anywhere near normal, or is it? Uh, is it like or the old normal or the new normal, or what is it like? Yeah, it's 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 very similar to the old normal. You know, it's 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 it feels like it it feels like it was uh, prior to, to the COVID. You know, there's great crowds there. People are, are, are sticking by their guidelines, um, and the crowds are there. And you know, it's a busy night, and it's 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 great fun. It's great yeah. fun. You know, so hopefully, oh, it, it feels normal to me. Like when we're back out on tour, it, it's it's that sort of feel. A busy busy bar and got great crowds and uh, people singing songs and requesting. So it's great. Yeah, you know? very good. Yeah, well, well, continued yeah. success to you, comic, and um, thank you, Derek. Uh, we, we'll um, we'll keep into it. Next week we'll be back, and uh, don't forget Milo and uh, and Damaris will be uh, doing their show tomorrow night. They're live. Their their, their jukebox special. Yes, and, uh, the whole band is live at seven o'clock Irish time for the Irish Music Magazine, and then myself and Milo will be live. A live, a live -o with Damaris and Milo is. 10 o'clock Irish time, which is 5 o'clock US time, Eastern Standard Time. So anyway, we're going to finish with this song. We're going to finish up with The Fields of Atom Rye. It's um, definitely one everybody's favourite, and there's no better man to sing this than Andreas. I think he does the best version. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> My lonely prison wall I heard a young man calling Michael, they are taking you away For he stole your valiance gone So the young might see the morn Now the prison Lies waiting in the bay No lie The fields of Athen Rye Where once we watched the small free birds fly Our love is on the wing We have dreams and songs to sing so lonely around the fields of at the right My lonely prison wall It's so long.
We'll see you all again tomorrow night. But on sound the Irish... no, on the... yeah, I have sound, yeah. On the Irish Music Magazine page, we'll be live tomorrow night. Just, myself. Just you. Yeah. And we'll be back for our Christmas special show next Friday night. And we get to see Andreas's new jumper. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. 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 <laughs> Take care.